Look at this example, guys. Here, you guys can see we have a b, right? My x is being multiplied by negative 1, and we have an h. It makes sense for us to say that the graph is reflected about the y-axis, and it shifts left. However, let's follow what I just said. Set your b and your h equal to your 0 to find the transformation. So I'm going to say negative x plus 1 is equal to 0. So whatever's inside of your function, you're going to take that quantity and set it equal to 0. Now we go ahead and solve for x. x equals positive 1. So now x is that's going to be basically like your transformation. So you, since x, since 1 is positive, you're actually shifting the graph one unit to the right. Now still you might say, well, it still doesn't make sense. Why are you setting equal to 0? Why, what is x1 transformation? So let's look at it a different way. Here is your equation, y equals the absolute value of negative x plus 1. What, what I'm telling you is b, since b is a product, it's, it's a multiplier, b is multiplied by your x and your h. So if you have this b here and an h, what you have to do is factor out the b. So if you factor out a negative 1 here, what you're left with is x minus 1. Now look at your b and your h. B is negative, which is still reflect the y-axis. So that still is the, remains the same. That's still good. But now, what is that x minus 1? What is now your h? Is h positive or negative? Inside the parentheses, h is positive, right? So therefore, it's shifting right 1. The easy way, rather than trying to factor everything out, the easy way to identify the transformation is just take whatever's inside your function, set it equal to 0, and go ahead and solve. Now, if you still don't believe me, that's fine. You don't have to believe me. Let's let